Shalom to Hasidic music singer and composer Shragi Gestetner. Shalom Yoni. Welcome to Israel. You're here with your uh, first album, first of all, of course, Mazel Tov. Oh, thank you. So tell us a bit about your first album, Shragi. It's called Shragi. It's uh, on my, my first name. And it's a very good collection of Hasidic music, new songs. A lot of happy songs, a lot of not sad, you can't call it sad, but warm songs. Now, how long have you been in the field of music? I started with writing songs. I started, I started like when I was, say, 12 years old. How does a 12-year-old start composing music, writing songs? Of course, my first few songs weren't the best. <laughs> but uh, this, is, this is when I started in... I started being really into music. I always loved music and everything. And, and I, I, with the years, my songs became like much better. And I started with selling songs. Of course, my parents didn't let me sell songs or sing and everything until I was married. They were very scared of a shad for shadichim and stuff. But when I got married, I started selling songs. What does that mean to sell a song? Selling song means I, I start writing for different singers. I didn't start with singing myself and chasanas and stuff. First, first, with, uh, first I, I, I wrote songs for other singers. For who? Who did you uh, write for? For Shlomi Daskal, for Sroli Werdiger, and Shlomi Toysik. Could you give us uh, a few examples? Sure. Uh, Anna Zmiras from Shlomi Daskal goes, and uh, the tune of the Yui and Sroli Werdiger had his last last uh, song from his first album was So then what happened that you started to actually be a singer yourself? The truth is uh, I, I did like professional demos of all my songs and Whoever listened to the to, to the songs, they always told me like, like why why are you, why are you selling your song? Why aren't you like singing yourself and stuff? And uh, and this is where I, I started singing. How would you define the difference between Shruggy behind the scenes writing, composing, and Shruggy on the stage? I find it much more. In, in a way it's much better for me that I could express my songs much better than um, trying other people to express my songs. Now we see uh, on the, on the uh, title, it says uh, the composer is Yossi Green. I understand that there are many composers, but tell us about the cooperation, special cooperation with uh, Hasidic music star in terms of composing and writing music, Yossi Green. People ask me why, why it's called uh, composed by Yossi Green when he, he didn't do every every song. We have we have Pinky Weber, we have Ari Haas, Moshi Perret Schwartz, and of course myself. It's it's not only the, the songs he made Yossi Green, it's also the input in the album. I, I, I probably sat with Yossi Green about this, these songs more hours than I did vocals. And and so he, he like deserves the name. So and not only deserves it's a, it's a COVID for me to put his name on, on, on the cover. And then the name is uh, some would say simple, some would say unique. Shragi is the name of the album. Just Shragi because first first we're lucky that we have a cover. I mean, it took me two months to choose the cover. And and the songs. It was very extremely difficult to choose a, a specific name to call the album with, and whichever song I I, I, I want to call the album was like, why this one? Why not the other one? And so we decided not to give it a name. And it's also fresh. It's like it's a new idea. You know, it doesn't have a name. People are asking me like, why doesn't it have a name? So I say. Just, just for you to ask me why it doesn't have an air. <laughs> Shragi Gestetner, thank you very much for joining and good luck. Thank you, Yoni. <laughs>